the commuter rail crackdown. The T and Keolis are trying to stop fare evaders, which are costing the line millions of dollars. But will this push create more harm than good? WBZ's Ken McLeod is live tonight at North Station with this story. Ken? Liam, as you just mentioned, freeloaders are a big problem for Keolis, which runs the commuter rail system, and also for the T. Combined, they estimate they lose tens of millions of dollars every year to commuters who simply don't pay for their rides. So beginning in the next couple of weeks, Keolis is expanding something that it tested last fall. Ticket checkers will be in the doorways demanding to see commuters paper or e-tickets before letting them onto the train platform. Now, many commuters complain that this effort created a bottleneck and added to the stress of their trip. Besides, they argue, conductors already checked their tickets again once on board the train. But Keolis insists the move is needed to reduce fare evasion. So the checks will begin at the Back Bay Station in early March, then North Station, and finally at South Station in May. Commuters we spoke with are not especially happy. It's typical MBTA stupidity. They have absolutely no clue what they're doing. They focus on the most irrelevant thing, and that's what they worry about. I get it. I understand why they're doing it. It's a pain. I think it's crazy, but I guess they have to do what they got to do. We're not going to win either way. It's stressful enough with all the trains being canceled and late or delayed, and then they bottleneck us to get home. Also expanding in the coming weeks, a pilot program where conductors using handheld devices can take credit cards as payments for tickets on board the train. Eventually now, Keolis wants to set up electronic fare gates at its three major stations. However, they haven't yet set up a timetable for that. Live at North Station tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you very much.